Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what are we going to get into today? Well, today is part three of our roasted series. And today is the most fun day. Today is distilling day. Okay, but first things first, there is five easy things you can do for us. You can do one or you can do them all. It'll all be appreciated. Number one, please hit that subscribe button. Number two, hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything when we come out with something new. Uh, let's see, number three, share us with your friends. If you like what you see, give us that thumbs up. And of course, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so what have we done so far? In part one, we showed how we roasted our pumpkin and we roasted our corn. That was interesting. Uh, number, part number two, it was we showed how we made our mash and now we're going to go move on to part three distillation all right let's get started okay so let's get this uncovered take out my blow off tube smells nice and sour all right so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to take a hydrogen read. I'm, I'm pretty darn sure it is completely firm, uh, fermented out, but let's double check anyway. So we'll stick a hydrometer in there. And yes, it is right there on the, I don't know if you see. Okay, it's right there at the edge of the blue which would be 0.999 okay so that means it is completely fermented out okay so we're ready to go now that's we'll also use that uh, number to how much figure out how much ABV is in this six gallons here okay so let me get uh, my still in here we're gonna start siphoning this off into my still pot so I'll be back okay so I got my siphon and what we're really trying to do is we want to siphon all the nice clean off the top and leave all the trub and uh, junk behind. Okay. So we'll get this done. Then we'll move on. Okay, so we checked our final gravity one i mean it was 9.999.10 okay so what we want to do next is we want to subtract our final gravity from our original gravity which gave us uh 0.080 okay so you times that by 131.25 factor and that will give you your abv and in this case it come out to uh 10.5 abv in that five gallon because we ended up with five gallons because in a corn mash pumpkin mash we ended up with a lot of trub so we ended up with five gallons of, of uh, fermented mash in our in our still pot okay we got our mash in our still what we want to do is uh degas degas it so I, I got one of these wine degassers, works on my cordless drill, works great. But you could just use a spoon or anything. And we just want to give it a stir, get some of the gas out of the liquid. You can really see it coming out. That ought to do it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my, I'm gonna be using an SWR switch. Um, and I've said this in the past, this is basically like on your stove top, it goes from low to high, it, it, you just dial it up, the hotter it gets, it'd be putting more amperage into the, um, the heating element. 
it's very simple. I kind of compare it to running propane, turning the propane up and down. It's basically the same thing, uh, but it's a lot easier to control than the gas, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna get this plugged up. Let it get start warming up while we do the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're starting to stack the steel out. I'm gonna use two rolls of copper mesh in my column. There's one. And And one thing you want to make sure you do is don't overpack your column, get it too tight. If you can breathe through it very easily, then you know you're good. Okay, so we'll get a gasket. Okay, so the next thing will be is we're going to use a sight glass. And this is going to end up being very important. Okay, another gasket. And then we'll use Our condensing. Okay, and last but not least, a very important tool will be our head temperature gauge all the way up top there okay so still stacked out the only thing I got left to do is hook up my cooling lines it'll be cold water in and of course cold water out okay so like I said we got five gallons of uh, mash in the still and I did have two quarts of of a uh, of heads I'm sorry two quarts of tails heads I put into my my fire starter bottle so but I did have two two good quarts of tails and we put them in there uh, just to give us a little bit more good uh, volume okay so let's let this heat up and then we'll be back to give you a quick update where we're at uh, our pot temperature went up past 145 and we are starting to get a few drips uh, coming out so what that is is in our liquid in our in our our pots what's going on is 
the uh, four shots, you know, the acetones and all that stuff, they are in the meth uh, methanol. They're starting to boil off the liquid at about, about 145 or so. So they're starting to come up, right? So they're going to fill the column up. And then the closer we get to 180 is that's when the ethanol, the good stuff, is start go going to start boiling off the liquid down there. And it's going to boil off before water boils, and that's what we're kind of controlling. Okay, so that's them vapors start coming out. So, with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to collect six ounces, and we're going to get rid of that, and then we will shut down for a moment, for a moment and I'm going to put some spices in the sight glass so that we get some of them flavors put over into the distillate. That'll be pretty fantastic. Okay, so we're on our way. But now is not the time to uh, go away. Um, I'm about at 160 now. I mean, I, I'm seeing a good fog, a little uh, condensation in the sight glass, and I'm getting a few drips, and it's very pungent. Okay. So we're not far from making getting this run running. Is that right, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our temperature's up about 175. I can feel a little bit of heat in the column on the bottom. So it's coming up. And like I've said in the past, do not walk away now because here in a couple seconds we're gonna have to shut the heat down. You know, lower the heat so that uh, we don't want to puke. All right, because I can feel it coming up the column. So it's getting real close. We're about 175, and our head temperature, it's hanging out at 100. And when it goes up, it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna go up real fast. And it should go up to about 180 up there, and then it will stay there for a while. Okay, so it's, I like to use both temperature gauges just to gauge what's going on. It's still just dripping a few drips coming out of the condenser. And like I said, it's real pungent. But it's going to start working here soon. Okay, okay if you notice, I mean, it's a little bit of a stream. I'm not really getting that pungy smell anymore, but I've only collected a couple uh, couple ounces. Uh, one thing you want to notice, in, so that you know how much cooling ore you got, up above up above the condenser, that tube should be very very hot, and then below, this should be cold. Okay, because this is cold water coming in, cold water comes out the top. Okay, so you're going to have to regulate your heat. You want a good broken stream. Okay, so a couple more ounces. Then what we're going to do, like I said before, we're going to shut down. We're going to put some spices in the side glass. Okay. Okay, so while we're uh, letting that finish up to collect our first six ounces, I'm going to get my... Uh, spices ready and all I'm gonna do is use a hot bag for like home brewing and I got a teaspoon of nutmeg and a couple cloves and I'm gonna put it in this little hot bag here and I want to tie it in a knot if I can Okay, so I'm going to put this into... I'm going to cut my tail off here, though. Okay, so that, that's going to go into the sight glass. And then I got six short uh, cinnamon sticks. That's going to go in there, too. Just one thing you got to make sure of is don't pack it too tight. Um, you want to be very, very loose because we don't want to make any kind of restriction for the vapors because uh, that could be dangerous. So that's, I'm only using very little. All right, so how many ounces we got now? 
And we are at, all right, six ounces. So I'm gonna shut down. Give her a second to cool off. And then what I'll do is I'll just pull the top part off. We'll put our spices in there and then we're gonna fire back up and get everything going. So I'll be right back. Okay, to show you what's going on, we got our spices in our sight glass. We got cinnamon sticks and a set little satchel of uh, nutmeg and I think two cloves. Okay, so we got that going on. I uh, turned the heat back on. Okay, so you can see it's dripping. I got it going into a parrot. I can go ahead and put the uh, my hydrometer in my parrot. So now it's just a matter of, uh, we'll start collecting for a while. Uh, I'll come back when the parrot fills up. Uh, I'll let you know what we, we're coming off at. Okay, we just started collecting. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're running about 160 right now. So what we'll do is we'll collect a half a jar and then we'll go on Okay. Uh, what do I got so far? Uh, one, two, three and a half quarts. Now remember, uh, I did throw in a couple quarts of tails that I had, and that's why I'm running a little bit extra here, which is fine. I mean, the taste is, is very, very good, but I know I'm getting ready to come into my tails uh, for a couple different reasons. As, you, as you're running your still, to keep it producing at a steady rate, you, you end up itching up the, the heat just a little bit at a time, just to keep it uh, producing you know, at a good rate. And you'll end up noticing your head temperature will climb. And when it climbs about, about 200, that's when I pretty much shut down. So it's 200 up there, and when I'm basically running a hundred proof, I know that my tails are going, you know, be coming through very soon. Okay, so uh, I started off at 160, and this last jar, last half jar down there is at 100. I'm um, collecting this. I know this will be in my tail, so I might just go ahead and fill this jar up and put it in my next run. Okay, but actually for right now. It still tastes good, but I can taste it's getting a little weak, okay? Um, right now, I'm just a hair under 100. So, this runs about one in the books. Alrighty. Okay, so I think this was a successful run. And what I'll do today is after I'm done, I'll cover all these up with, you know, like coffee filters or I use to use a, a piece of paper towel, just keep junk out of them. And uh, I'm gonna let them breathe for 24 hours and I'll come back tomorrow and then we'll blend it and get some oak going on. Okay, so with that, Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing.